Okay, hey guys. We're making an alternate version of the Matsutake meat rolls in Genshin. Well, this time, we're gonna be using these mushrooms. This is kind of like a cookie video because I ran out of content ideas. Anyways, so first off, I'm gonna be wrapping three, three mushrooms into uh, into a double layer meat roll. This is for like a for an event I'm doing tomorrow. We want to do when well, we want to do um, two meat rolls because if you have a if you have one meat roll, then it'll just break off. It's not sturdy enough. We're doing like a, another version of the instructions because like this bowl can't fit a lot of meat. This bowl can't fit a lot of meat because, well, it's small. Uh, we have the frozen lamb beef rolls that you would get in hot pots. And trust me, it's not going to be undercooked. Not undercooked. I'm gonna keep doing this. So again, unwrap this. Unwrap this. Boom! That's two! That's two we're done already! I'm uh, the next... The next uh, Genshin chef. I'm, jo I'm joking. I can't cook. Red bean, a plus matcha cake by Winnie. Can you explain what's going on here? Um, I'm currently trying to frost the cake. I just made red bean frosting, and now I'm gonna make matcha frosting, and then frost the outside. Hey guys, quick update on what's happening on the and the mushrooms wrapped. So, there's the mushrooms. I put a lid on it. I also gave up on wrapping. <laughs> just, I straight up marinated uh, the mushrooms and the meat together. So I'm just gonna, just gonna pan fry it. Stir, stir fry pan, pan fry it. I'm not a chef actually. So yeah, quick up, that's a quick tip update. And see you tomorrow. Okay, we're here. Cooking this mushroom. They've practically already been burnt and they're pretty salty. 